please open the uh, Breaking Bread book number 176. Jesus Christ is risen today. 176. Jesus Christ is risen today. Ah, 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 hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Ah, 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 hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross? Ah, ah, ah hallelujah. Sir, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Today we continue to witness and hear the testimony from our apostles about Jesus. When we say the name Jesus, I hope we ponder and pause and wonder what does that mean? Who is he? Because he is everything for us. He's the truth, the life, and the way. For him, through him, everything exists, including us. And so with that, let us ask the Lord to bless us Continue to give us joy and meaning and purpose of our lives so that we don't just get out there and wandering with our purposes. Lord Jesus, you come to save us from all sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to share your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come so that we live eternally. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Together we say glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to his people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. This Mass is offered to pray for the soul of Jim Fisher, and also for those in our parish just passed away. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery, in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So this powers our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express indeed to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lived and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, 
while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were on the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builder has become the cornerstone. The, the stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the, the builder has become, has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures endures forever. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders, builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders, builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, he revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples, Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, 
But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea. The other disciple came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to him, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love Jesus. He's a pretty cool guy. Fun to be around. Fun to be around. He loves to eat. He loves to play around in terms of friendship. Friendship. But the way he does, very subtle, very prudent, very pretty easy for us to, to be with. You know, I like the, the thing here is, even though it's a lot of fish, but the net was not torn. That reminded me the burning bush. The burning bush where Moses caught and say, hey, there's something here weird. The bush burned but not destroyed. The same thing with the net, tons of fish. But they are together. Someone used that image for the church. The church is like that net. It seems like very fragile, very thin. But that, fit, that net caught all kinds of fish, not one kind, all kinds of fish. And each one of us is one fish in that net. It seems like a lot, and it's a lot of problems in there. But in the eyes of God, in the capacity of Jesus, we okay, we okay. I'm reading right now passionately the book called Free and Faithful in Christ. And I wanna use this model, I will share this with Cindy and all my uh, leadership to write the prospective vision for our schools. And the first one, like I mentioned yesterday, freedom. And the more I read this book, that freedom to 
search the truth, to know the truth, to live the truth, to think truth, to act the truth. And the truth is Christ. The truth is Christ. Today, the disciples, after they experienced the resurrection of Jesus Christ, they used that name in everything, everything. And the Easter, the resurrection, does not just stop at Jesus resurrected, but continues to live in our life to the point the Pharisees, the scribes, the religious leaders accuse them, even maybe accuse them to death. That's still Easter and resurrection. So don't just box the resurrection end up in Christ. But we need to live this, this message, this truth throughout our life. Yesterday, our Bible study, we came up with the idea that after we talk about the resurrection of Christ, we need to go out there in the neighborhood and to greet our neighbors in this area and maybe to introduce ourselves to them, maybe to search that kind of truth in our neighborhood as well. And so today, my brothers and sisters, this is a joyful message. Don't lock it in our heart, in our body. Live it out every day of our lives. And Jesus is that truth. Jesus is that joy. Jesus is the meaning and the purpose of our life. And so may God bless us today, those who could hear and believe in the gospel. Be blessed and be joyful. Amen. Let us now stand and offer a few prayers today. We pray for our church today, for Pope Francis, for Bishop Duca, for all the pastors in the local churches, that they continue to be blessed with God's wisdom and also courage to be witnesses of the truth, of the joy of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves here, especially our students and staff, that they have a, a, low, a little break, spring break, that they be able to uh, recover and come back with uh, full energy and joy. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And thank you for God's mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for giving us another day to live and to enjoy you. Listen to all these prayers and all the prayers hidden in our hearts. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you. Food of the earth and walk in human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
by the mystery of water and wine. We come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have received this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will be come for us the spiritual drink. Let's be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and earth, for your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass. For we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all we have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will have blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed apostles, Saint Jerry, redemptive saints, and blessed, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
the Savior command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Being in Antiphon, Jesus said to his disciples, Come and eat. And he took bread and gave it to them. Alleluia. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a blessed day.